Hello and welcome to Maiden Castle Farm. My name's Hazel and this is Scarlet. We are a beef, sheep and arable farm and today we're going to take you around the sheep enterprise that we have on the farm here to show you what we do. On the farm we lamb approximately 1,200 sheep. A female sheep is called a ewe. A ewe. A male sheep is called a lamb. And a baby sheep, which I'm sure you all know, is called a lamb. So we are at the moment in the middle of lambing. Some of the ewes behind us have been lambing throughout the day over the past few weeks and have been producing a number of lambs for us. Mum, what is that doing? So Scarlett, he's just bringing the ewes back into the barn. Um, we've got to the end of the day and it's going to be quite cold tonight, overnight. They've even forecast a frost. So we're going to bring the ewes back into the barn now so that they can have any of their lambs overnight in the barn and we can keep a bit of a closer eye on them. What are the sheep doing now? So the ewes are in the barn, Scarlet, for the night. We've given them some tea, which is this hay here in the, in the rack, which is dried grass. And then we just let them have a calm time until they feel ready to a lamb. So this lamb here has been born in the last hour. The immediate reaction once it's been born is to try and stand up as quickly as possible and head towards its mother's udder, which is where the milk is that will give it its nutrition. You will see that its little tail will wag really fast when it gets to that stage of having its milk. So we've moved into the maternity unit here of the lambing enterprise. This is where all the ewes are put into their pens with their own lambs that they've had. So it gives chance for them to do some bonding. So this ewe and her lamb, um, she's only had the one that's called a single. Um, you'll see the lamb smelling its mother and the ewe is smelling its lamb and they all have an individual smell so that they know one another. And there goes the lamb on to the udder to get some milk and did you see that tail go crazy? Here are a few of the orphan lambs that we've got on the farm at the moment. Um, we have an orphan lamb when a mother, a ewe, cannot manage to look after all of her lambs. So when she has one lamb, we call it a single. When she has two lambs, we call it a double or a twin. And when she has three lambs, we call it a triplet. And sometimes she's not able to feed all three, so we feed them for her. That is why we call them orphan lambs, even though their mum is still alive. All lambs drink milk. Sometimes the orphan lambs would have us um, feed them through a, a bottle with um, powdered milk and water made up for them. Another time we might actually milk the ewe like we're doing here. You can see the milk coming out of the teat and the udder and then we would put that into a bottle and feed the orphan lambs by that method. Now this is a, a, our character on the farm at the moment. He is known as George. Now George is a, an orphan lamb 
Um, you can see he's um, very, very friendly, and most of the orphan lambs are because of the reason that they are being handled by us constantly. Um, initially, it starts um, with us feeding them every few hours, and then as they get older, the, the feeding reduces. And now George is on a little bit of hay as well, which is the dried grass, as well as some pellets, which has got some sort of extra nutrition in for, for him to um, to eat as well. Um, his ears are quite different to the rest, and his face are quite different to the rest of his body. You can see you've, the wool is there, but it's almost like hair around the actual face and the ears. He's just heard the water being filled up for all the ewes around and about. Look at how alert he is and what's going on around him. Um, thinking, I reckon that there might be a bit of food on the way. Is that what you're thinking, George? Um, it's going to be just a, a top up of your water at the moment. It's not feeding time yet. We have two beef enterprises here at Maiden Castle Farm. The first one is a beef suckler herd which is where the calves are born um, outside in the fields and they then stay with their mothers for a number of um, months, almost until they're a year old, and they suckle constantly as well as feeding from the grass, which is why it's called a suckler herd. Just here we have a, a range of breeds. Um, there are some that are crossed with what they call a stabilizable and also some South Devons as well. Um, they are bred to be very strong um, as soon as they are born and the calves aren't quite as quick as the, the lambs to get up, but they are definitely up on their feet very quickly to get some milk um, from their mums as soon as they are strong and able. Um, this is a uh, a calf that was born earlier um, today, just having a sit down, but mum is very protective, as you can see, look, she's just giving them a little nudge to say, come on, you should be getting up now. Um, over here on the other side of the field, um, we have got uh, a calf that was actually born at about 11 o'clock uh, this morning. Um, it's now at about two o'clock in the afternoon. So we're talking about a calf that's roughly about four hours old. Um, here it is just here. You can see it's starting to get quite stable on its legs. Um, it's immediately going in to have some milk from its mother. The mother is very protective, just watching me to see what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, they're keeping nice and strong and, and healthy. And this lovely sunny weather is definitely helping with the situation. So these particular um, beef animals, uh, this is a, a stabiliser cross um, cow here. And the female animals are called cows and the bulls, which are the male animals. And then we've got the baby calves as well. So that's the, the three main names that you associate with these beef animals. Um, and they have access to the field all day or they can make their way into the barn um, to see uh, where there's the extra food for them for a bit more nutrition if they're feeling a bit hungry. So we've moved from the field, there's a little track that goes from the main field where we saw the, the previous cows into this um, pathway. It's just a, a muddy path, very dry at the moment because we haven't had any rain for quite a long time. Um, and this just gives access for all the cows in the suckler herd to make their way in out of the sunshine if they want to. It's totally up to them uh, what they do. Um, they are just sat down quite happily, some of them in the shade, um, some of them not. And they're able to munch a little bit. Um, they've actually got some silage there, which is a different type of uh, feed for the beef animals. Um, sometimes they would have hay, which is the dried grass, but silage is actually fermented grass. Um, so we cut it when it is fresh and green, and then we actually wrap it tight to keep it away from any oxygen in the air. 
and then it actually ferments and what that means is that grass then lasts a lot longer um, for us to be able to feed it throughout the whole of the, the winter period when maybe the grass isn't actually growing in the, the fields. Um, so you can see this particular animal here. Now some of you are probably wondering why it's got um, some yellow earrings. And if you notice, all of the cows have got yellow earrings. Now these are actually ear tags. And every cow has an ear tag which has two numbers on it. The top number is six digits long and that tells us which farm it was actually born on. And then the second number relates to an individual number to itself. And every animal has to have a, an ear tag and also a passport. Now this little calf here makes me laugh because he looks like he's frowning looks like he's quite cross with us at the moment doesn't it and um, he is just sort of thinking about whether he'll get up or not to follow the rest of them I think in the end he decides he will look how strong he is just one of the herd much the same as the the rest of them he's quite happy to just toddle along and find its mother now this is the second type of beef enterprise that we've got these are um, a fatling beef enterprise. Um, they are currently in the barn at the moment um, because we've not got a lot of grass out in the fields, sadly, uh, due to such dry weather. So we are feeding them here. Um, you can see the feed just below the feed passage there, just below them. And um, here is one of them. There's the ear tags that I spoke about before. Well, he's giving us a bit of a staring competition. Who's going to fold first? I think it might be me, actually. Let's have a look at some of the other cows. So um, they are just here quite happily sat. Can you see one of them in the background? Looks like he's chewing, almost like chewing gum. And oh, this one, yeah, you've decided. Oh, well, that's quite a disgusting thing to do. Why are you licking your nose? Oh my goodness me. So cows have actually got four stomachs and they're quite disgusting with how they do, um, how they eat their food. All the food here, um, we actually um, try to produce probably 90% of what we feed to the cows. So this is actually some silage and you'll actually see if we look in a bit deeper, there's some grains. Look, there's a little bit of barley that we've actually grown as well on the farm here and we mix it all up it's a little bit of maize in there as well which looks very similar to sweet corn and we mix it all up in a great big feeder wagon um, and it's the same principle as mixing together all of your ingredients to make a cake we do exactly the same that we mix together all the ingredients for the cow's food and then we give it to them and look they can help themselves throughout the day um, so it's what they call ad lib feeding um, until they're full. The final thing I wanted to show you on the farm was our old beauty the tractor. This is our oldest model that we've got and then this is the newest model that we've actually bought in the last few months. Thank you for watching our short film about Maiden Castle Farm. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all the sheep and the beef animals that we have. Do follow us on Instagram and Facebook to learn more.